let's review the basic concepts on lines and planes and then we are going to proceed on to spheres and cylinders okay so obviously you must have studied about these in your school in junior college so we are just going to quickly review the basic concepts so let us suppose I have my coordinate axes I have a Z over here I have a Y over here I have a X over here and I have a line which is like this okay so essentially it's a line connecting the origin and an arbitrary point x y z okay now let us just assume that the angle that this line making with x is alpha okay the angle that this line makes with y is beta and the angle that this line makes with z is gamma okay if this is the case then cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma are the direction cosines of this line okay this line and they are generally represented as l m and n okay so the direction cosines of a given line is simply the cosine of the angles that the line makes with coordinate axes okay now since this point is x y z we know that this distance is y right so what is this distance y it is actually equal to the length of this line into cos beta right if you look at this triangle then as per your sin or rather cos beta it's going to be what your cos beta is this distance which is your y upon this distance which is your length okay so my y is essentially equal to the length of the line into cos beta okay similarly my x is going to be the length of the line into cos alpha okay this angle and my z is going to be the length of the line into cos gamma okay this line we can also represent as a vector okay so let us just assume that l is the length of the vector representing this line okay now if you were to represent this vector what is this vector gonna be your vector r which is this vector is essentially equal to x i plus y j plus z k right therefore what is the modulus of this vector the modulus of this vector is equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square okay now if you square all these quantities and add them up what you have is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to this square plus this square plus this square right so it's gonna be l square cos square beta plus l square cos square alpha plus l square cos square gamma okay so i can write this as l square common cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma okay now what i know is my l which is equal to the modulus of r which is root of x square plus y square plus z square therefore this guy is equal to l square or in other words what i realize is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 okay or in other words your squares of direction cosines 